the night game, and I mean very much the night game, 9 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock Central on ESPN. Auburn, number 22 at LSU. And I about said the Tigers, but uh, they're both the Tigers. <laughs> LSU favored by three and a half points at home. The over-under is 55 and a half. Last season, Auburn won this matchup 48 to 11, but LSU leads the all-time series 31-23 with one tie. And how about this stat, Shade? LSU and Auburn both lead the nation in tackles for loss per game at, at 10 and a half. So I do not know how that happens, but uh, <laughs> I say all that to say this, Shade. Who you got to match up? <laughs> Mike, I mean – You want to talk about question marks, man. This is it. Auburn's spiraling right now. We saw it with Georgia State last week. Mm -hmm. They ran all over. I mean, it was just freaking embarrassing uh, to be even in the same – I mean, this should not even have come – this shouldn't have made it out of the first quarter. It should have been a blowout. We had a quarterback switch. We had, uh, you know, just so many things going against you. And I know they were saying it was – well, they're, they're hung over from the Penn State game, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I get that, but there's got to come a point when you just look at the guy in front of you and beat him. Mm-hmm. And it felt like just Auburn didn't have that until late in the game, and they won by a freaking miracle. LSU on the opposite, opposite side, you want to talk about a sluggish start, man. Just, again, another year, real slow out of the gates. Haven't really found their identity. I mean, we know Max loves Butte, but that can't be it. You know what I'm saying? They, mm-hmm. they they need some people to step up. Auburn shows that you can run against them. LSU has struggled to find the running game. I think this is the week that they finally find the guy. Of course, I've been saying that for a couple of weeks, but I just <laughs> – I mean, you got to get it this week, you would think, out of all teams. And does Auburn just run over LSU? Is this a UCLA game all over? I don't know. There's just a lot of question marks coming into this one. But I will say this. Giving the current status of both programs, what I do like is even though LSU won last week, and I'm not saying it's pretty, they won by a few big plays, but they won. And I think that momentum carries over with this young club. I think that they that's something to build off of. Auburn, they're just grabbing at straws right now. They need – they need to get back to their roots of running the ball, playing great defense. And I think that that keeps this game close. But I just like LSU. I mean, the fact that it's being played at the Death Valley, I mean, you've got to use that as a factor. I mean, this is a night game. It's mm-hmm. going to be loud. It's going to be rowdy. You better enjoy that music, man, because they are going to be singing it all night long. I think LSU wins this game. And give me the over 28. Auburn, 24. Ooh. Yeah, I like a lot of what you had to say, Shane. I mean, a lot of people wrote off LSU after they lost to uh, UCLA. Right now, they lead the nation, 20 sacks. That defensive line's getting after it. So, whether it's T.J. Finley, like I suspect it will be, or Bo Nix, they're going to be under duress all game long. And how about my man Max Johnson, Shane? I know he didn't look great in that opener, but he's 5-1 and one as the LSU starting quarterback. He leads the SEC and is number two in the country with 15 passing touchdowns. So mm. there's a lot to like about them LSU Tigers. And, you know, I continue to hit on it. This is one that, uh, you know, LSU, much like last week, they desperately, desperately need to win this game uh, given the upcoming slate. Otherwise, we can basically write them off. So – I think there's even more on the line for LSU, and I know Auburn wants to win it too, but, you know, with the turmoil, they just fired one of their assistant coaches. Uh, You know, things – it just seems like bad mojo there where you're getting Mm -hmm. outworked by Georgia State for most of the game. I know in the second half you really stifled them, but you really should have stifled them the entire game because they ain't got much talent compared to the (laughs) Auburn Tigers. So, uh, you know – and I'm a little worried, man. T.J. Finley, I know he's going to be hyped for this game. He's from Louisiana. Maybe he comes in here and saves the day, but I think he might be a little too hyped, maybe a little too emotional, maybe wanting to make the big play. You make, know, yeah. Uh, just trying to be Superman out there, trying to be hero ball, and they may need that to go into Tiger Stadium and beat LSU. So uh, I just don't think it's going to play out in Auburn's 
favor this week. I'm not liking the way they're trending. Whereas LSU, I think, uh, you know, no, hardly anyone's paying attention, but I think they are trending in the right direction. And I know last week you and many others, Shay, were frustrated with how this defense adjusted and uh-huh. they were giving up big plays left and right, but they, they were playing that bend but don't break. Uh, I think they returned more to form this week against a more traditional opponent than as opposed to Mike Leach's air raid system. So I'm right there with you, brother. I got LSU 30, Auburn 20. I think it's a 10-point ball game. Mm. All right, LSU over. Get get your money in, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I know. Hey, you... let me ask you this: uh-huh. over over under Brad Johnson cameo is at seven <laughs> and a half. What do you think? <laughs> I'll go over. They love them some Brad they Johnson. Love. You know what? <laughs> uh, you know, I can't imagine, you know, because I'm telling you, as a Tennessee fan, there's the same storyline you hear in every damn game. It, it, it's And it feels like when you're playing another opponent, they got to let that fan base know the exact same thing, even though they're disregarding the fact that we hear the same story over and over. So I have not watched – I mean, I've watched LSU games, but not so much the commentary. But I can only imagine that every single game – they're talking about Brad Johnson. <laughs> I mean, that's got to get old. 